Professional photographers are always taught to seek out clear light so that the details in the frame can be easily identified, thus increasing the sellability of a photo. However, this leaves little room for creative impact, and sometimes, by including elements such as haze into the frame, you can ramp up the impact and atmosphere of the picture. Now, that's great if you're created with these ethereal conditions, but what happens if they're missing? Well, fear not, we can use the power of Affinity Photo 2 to add realistic haze to the frame. And the secret weapon to this technique is the software's gradient tool option. The advantages of this technique are numerous. Not only can you control the direction of the haze, but also its strength and colour, giving you, as the photographer, a high degree of precision over the effect. So, give into the haze and let's see how it can improve our landscape imagery. Let's get started. With your image open in Affinity Photo 2, make sure you are in the Photo Persona. You can check this by clicking on the Photo Persona icon in the top left hand of the interface. Our first job is to create a new layer that will sit above the background layer. Head to the Layers panel and click on the Add Pixel Layer. And this is identified by a checkerboard icon. Click on it and you'll see the new layer present itself above the background layer, automatically selected, ready for you to work on. Now head over to the left hand side of the interface and this is the toolbar where a lot of our options and tools live. But the one we want to use is the gradient tool and the keyboard shortcut for this is G. So let's click on this. Before we use this tool we need to make sure we refine a few options. First up there's a number of ways the gradient can be applied to the frame but the way we're going to use it will be linear. So head over to the type option, click on it and a drop down menu will appear. And of course, the option we want to use is linear. Okay, zoom out a little bit and you can use the mouse to draw out your gradient. Remember, we're using this to recreate the look of haze. So directional lines coming in from one corner across the frame will work best. That said, you can always experiment with the direction of your gradient line to see what works best for your particular image. Now, try and stretch the gradient line a fair way across your image so that it covers most of the frame. We can refine the stretch of the gradient later in the technique. Okay, now we need to take control of the color in the gradient. Head to the color box on the right hand side of the interface and make sure the color is selected as RGB. You can then pick from the color spectrum and I'm gonna select an orange color. I'm gonna make it quite a deep orange too. You see the gradient is actually at the wrong way at the moment the orange being down here and the white at the top. And we want to reverse this so that the orange is at the top of the frame. And to do this, all you have to do is head to the top of the interface and click on the reverse gradient option. There we go. Now next up is where the magic happens and we need to change the blending mode from normal to soft light. There we go. And I'm just gonna click off this layer and that's how our image started and then click on the layer and you can see how the haze has been added via that gradient tool. Now the effect of the haze might be too strong and there's a few things we can do about this. First up is to change the opacity of the layer by dragging the opacity slider down, but I actually want it quite strong so I'm gonna leave it at 100%. The next is to remove some pixels by painting them out. And what we're gonna do is add a mask option to this layer. So make sure the layer is selected and scroll down to the mask layer and that's identified by a circle within a square icon. Click on it and it will be selected. Then we head back over to the toolbar and select the paintbrush tool and the keyboard shortcut for this is B. Click on it and make sure that the brush is set to black. It has a hardness of 0% and you can actually dip the opacity of this brush as well if you want to lower its strength. Now you can change the size of the brush using the square bracket keys and I'm just going to very gently just remove the haze from the water just to make the water stand out a fair bit as well and you'll see on the thumbnail the area of pixels that you've taken away again you can change the size of the, of the brush using the square bracket keys to give you more precision now remember you can add multiple layers of gradient to have haze coming from multiple directions or you can mix different layers different colored haze to help create even more interest to the frame. Now finally, you can export the image by heading to the top of the interface, clicking the file menu option, scrolling down and selecting export. And when the dialog box appears, 
you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF or PSD. There we go. Have fun adding haze to your landscape images and I'll see you next time.